Hi, welcome to another episode of Hot Takes on this fine Wednesday morning. Crime in Scotland has risen dramatically. In fact, it's now completely out of control. Overall, the figures have risen 3% over the year. However, some crimes have risen by horrendous amounts. Retail crime, shoplifting and such, has risen by a third, a full 34% increase, with shop owners saying it's hardly worth their while trying to compete. All days' wages and profits eradicated by thieves just walking in and walking out with whatever they like, and the police aren't interested. And they literally aren't. The police don't even respond now to shoplifting. It's that rife. It is that blatant. People can walk into a shop, pick stuff up, shove their stuff in their pockets and walk out knowing, one, they're not likely to get stopped. Two, in the event they even are stopped, they will probably be released because of human rights and can't be touched. Third, even if a policeman is around, he probably doesn't want to intervene because of paperwork. And even then, eventually they get to court and the court will let them go because there isn't any room in the prisons for something as trivial as shoplifting. Unbelievable, isn't it? And it isn't just that. Violent crime up 3%. In fact, violent crime up 9% in just four years. This is a, an absolute astonishing figure. But why is it happening? Well, mainly because there's no fear. There's so few policemen, the chances of getting caught are virtually nil. Even if you get caught, the courts just don't want to know. I mean, literally, it's almost impossible to be put into prison in Scotland today when you see people who are children walking free and given punishments like litter picking. You know the country is failing. And this is years and years of SNP rule. And nobody has a solution because nobody in the SNP cares. It is absolutely horrendous. And for victims, there is no justice. There is nobody accountable. Nobody wants to know. Angela Constance, the woman who's supposedly in charge, clearly out of her debt, clearly incapable of dealing with it, clearly has run out of all ideas. She must go. She must resign, given these figures. But she won't, because a resignation would come because she'd have a sense of decency. And this is the SNP, where they don't even know how to spell decency. Uh, Tory leadership proposal, uh, Russell Findlay, he's saying that it's an appalling situation. He's saying that should the Tories ever get control of uh, Holyrood, the first thing they will do will be to clamp down on crime and build more prisons and hire more policemen. You know, and it is a, a government's priority, a government's first job is to protect the people. And the SNP government is failing even that simple task. It's deliberately letting the police rot on the vine, deliberately underfunding them, deliberately undermanning, because it doesn't want to be held accountable itself. If there was a lot more policemen, a lot more SNP people would be investigated. The SNP itself would be fully investigated and it would be found wanting. Keep the police small and overworked and nobody is interested in inter you know, um, in interviewing them, in investigating them, in prosecuting them, and in jailing them, seems to be the way. It can't last, and it will become a charter for criminals, and just quite literally, a criminal state. Thanks very much. Goodbye.